Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Hoosiers gathered from across the state for the first LGBTQ State House Day. A group from the ACLU of Indiana who organized the event spent the day speaking to lawmakers about trans issues. But in a time when trans people are increasingly under attack, both locally and nationally, uh, we want to make sure that our lawmakers see that we're real people. Malone says once lawmakers and other Hoosiers meet and interact with trans people, it's harder to see them as a threat. Now, in addition to statewide organizations providing resources, several lawmakers spoke recommitting themselves to LGBTQ issues at the State House. A new texting tool is available to Hoosier teens who want to quit vaping. The Indiana State Department of Health has partnered with the national group The Truth Initiative to launch the Text to Quit program. It's called This is Quitting and sends daily recommendations and support text on how to quit. Teens 13 years and older can enroll in the program. If someone's not ready to quit smoking, they can still sign up for texts to help prepare for quitting. And a proposed four-lane highway that would improve southwestern Indiana's connection to Interstate 69 is set for three public meetings on the project's proposed routes. The route options being studied by an Evansville company will be presented during February's meetings on the Mid-States Corridor. The limited access highway would run north from the Ohio River city of Rockport through parts of southwestern Indiana before linking with I-69. Meetings will be held in Lagodi, Bedford, and Jasper later this month. Now, a quick check of the forecast. First for tonight, an 80% chance of showers. Lows down to 52 degrees. More rain in the five-day forecast. A bit cooler, 45 the high on Tuesday, 37 Wednesday. Then a 30% chance of a rain and snow mix on Thursday. Highs up to 36. More at WTIUnews.org.